During lockdown, cousins Ollie and Harvey found a new craft, which quickly became a passion. Well, it started by me and Ollie went round to our granddad's sometimes for tea. As it was in lockdown, we had nothing to do, no school. We went round there for tea, and our granddad used to be a blacksmith at the time, and he would be doing work in his garage. So we thought it was really interesting. We asked him if we could give it a go. We went there once, enjoyed it, went there a couple more times, and eventually it built up into a business. Achieving success with orders as far and wide as Australia, they also became known locally for their imaginative designs. The council asked us to make something for the community. It took us a while to come up with the idea, but the park was local, so we made a big fish, made out of 400 spoons, and then we put it in the middle of the lake in between loads of reeds. And you can really see it when you go there, because because it spoons, the sun reflects off it. But it was their charity work which has won the most praise, raising money for various causes, including £6,000 for the Ukrainian war effort with a unique sunflower design. Well, when we first thought of the sunflower, we got straight into the garage and we got some chalk and drew our ideas on the table. We made it and it actually looked a lot better than I expected. So we cleaned it, sprayed it and it looked really good. Soon, they were making the front pages of newspapers and appearing on national television. To see them in the spotlight is, to start with, it was a bit, it was very weird, very strange to see them, you know, front, new, front page newspaper, national news, being recognised from royalty. They even received letters from the late Queen Elizabeth. It was quite, it was quite overwhelming at first because you would start, we started to realise that people were noticing us, the stuff we were doing to raise money in that. Britain's youngest blacksmiths, Ollie and Harvey, are the seventh generation of blacksmiths in their family, all inspired by their grandfather, Tony. Well, I, I, yeah, I feel very proud of the fact that, they're, that, that, they're t that they've taken it up. But what, most of all, what I'm impressed with is, is their enthusiasm. It's good to be a blacksmith from my age. Yeah, it's quite a lot, because I'm 15, but I do, I enjoy doing it and we try and go there as much as we can to Grandad's Garage. When we grow up, it'd be, it'd be really nice to sort of carry it on and then maybe carry it on in generations as well.